Well, I guess what made me want to start Wet Wheels is that I spent most of my life at sea in some form or another. And I was conscious that how few people were actually, disabled people were actually being able to get on the water. It's a different environment out there. You know, on the land, we all know the land, we know how the land works. Out there it's completely different and I want to, I wanted to find a way to get people who've never experienced that environment out on the water. Wet Wheels Solon was our first one based here in Portsmouth and we very quickly got our second one in Jersey and then less than a year later we had a third boat in Southampton based on the Hamble River um, which we call Wet Wheels Hamble. The excitement's growing, the more people that see and hear about Wet Wheels, the more people that want one in their communities and we have two in the pipeline now. We have one which is nearly over the line, we should have one in uh, the southeast, based in Dover by um, certainly by the spring of next year, so that will be our fourth. And then we're also working with a really enthusiastic team in Yorkshire um, who are going to base a, a Wet Wheels at their Whitby um, location. And that's fantastic because Whitby, the, the whole of Yorkshire, has percentage-wise has more disabled people than any other county in the country. And yet they've got no means of getting these disabled people on the water. So having a Wet Wheels there would be absolutely fantastic for their community I'm sure. When you are out there and you see the smiles on the faces it may just be putting a hand out to feel what water feels like on your hand or to feel the sea spray in your face. It never ever ceases to give me pleasure, not just me but my whole crew. We sit there and we smile and every trip is unique, every trip has its own stories and if you could bottle that you know we'd all be millionaires and we'd all be a much happier nation I'm sure.